Well, Ray Cochran there on Lucky Song on this side in the number one store. And you see she's got herself really very much on her toes. It's her first run this year. And Ray's just got her on a long rein, giving her a pat on the neck, trying to keep her quiet. And, well, you could do yourself a lot of damage in these stores. And we've got one more to go in. That's Snow Bride. Let's have go over to Gigi. Yes, lucky song, nearest to us in pink. That's it. They're lined up, and away they race for the Tattersall's Music Door of Stakes, and lucky song is the first to show in front. From Snow Bride, a um, bit more aggressive today. Sarah Ree is on the outside, showing third. And then behind these, Pilot Settle for Mr. is five, and the back marker is Pick of the Pops. So it's Snow Bride with a, just over a mile to go. From Sarah Ree in second place, showing third, Lucky Song. Four is Pilot, the favorite, in the dark crimson jacket, followed by Mysteries in fifth, and Pick of the Pops in sixth. They've got under a mile to race now. And Steve Gawtham bidding for a hat-trick here this afternoon at York, leads on Snow Bride. Sarah Ree on the outside of her in the green and white. Settled third, Lucky Song, and fourth is Pilot as they pass a seven, and then comes Mysteries and Pick of the Pops. So they race down towards a six. And it's Snow Bride leading from Sarah Ree in second, with Lucky Song in third. These are then followed by Pilot in four. And comes Mysteries and Pick of the Pops, and they swing left-handed and race down towards the halfway stage in the Musidora, and Snow Bride leads from Sarah Ree on the outside, showing third is Lucky Song, fourth on an even keel, well-balanced little filly, this Pilot. Uh, then behind that one is Pick of the Pops, and the back marker, just Mysteries, but the race really yet to open as they pass the four and snow bride with sarah ree on the outside in green and white look at the favorite pilot in the dark maroon jacket uh, on the inside of pick of the pops black and white lucky song though tries to stretch they pass the three mr is his last and it's snow bride in the lead from sarah ree in second pilots getting closer now in third and willie carson asks his daughter of chris to quicken and she's finding more and willie looks round to see if there's anything behind there isn't but up front snow bride won't be denied and pilot has to go to work mysteries are pulled outside for a big run and closing well they're inside the final furlong and pilot has to work and snow bride fights back and snow bride goes on pilot is held in second and snow bride has it by a half and up the line snow bride the winner pilot second mysteries third then came lucky song in fourth and so snow bride has won in the colors today of Mr. Saeed Maktoum Al Maktoum. That's blue and maroon. This one trained at Newmarket by Henry Cecil and written superbly by Steve Cawthon, tactically from the front again. So a hat trick uh, for Steve this afternoon. Second is number four, Pilot, uh, written by Willie Carson. Third horse home is number two, Mysteries, written by Michael Hills. But that daughter of Seattle Slough is some three and a half to four lengths adrift of the winner, Snow Bride, bred at the Darley Stud and a daughter of blushing groom. Snow Bride, the four to one second favorite, winner of this Tattersall's Murisidora stake. She dropped out tamely last time. We knew why, and uh, obviously recaptured the sparkle that she shows at home. And another courageous bit of front running and the under Steve Gordon. Steve Cawthon won this last year on Diminuendo and there are similarities to this filly's performance today. She hasn't won by as wide a margin and she probably isn't going to be quite so good a filly as Diminuendo. But look at her enthusiasm and look at her stride. She's not very big but she's splendidly genuine and she really has fought her heart out here to uh, beat Pilot who John with one and a half furlongs to go came to win the race. Yeah she looked like she it was all over a winner. Willie got her tucked back in at the four furlong pole and I thought it was a question of just when he pulled her out, all he was going to have to do was just give her a little bit of rain. But she's come out here, she's come up against a very tough finish. She's obviously no signs of being in season this afternoon. And when it comes down to a battle, well, you've got a job to beat any of Henry Cecil's fillies or any of his colts come for that reason. They're supremely fit and there's nothing they love more than a fight. Very similar to Martin Pipe's horses on the, over the jumps. And... There she is, Joanne Dennison. I would imagine her father is very proud. Probably got this on video as well. Yes, happy.